hey besties welcome back or welcome to my channel if you are new here today i have a very exciting video one second <laughs> i did a little bit of damage for the amazon 50 percent off book sale honestly as i should because 50 percent off you never see that literally ever um especially for new books and so this was just a crazy sale. I have not been book shopping in so many months, so I thought that I would treat myself. And I ended up buying exactly $100 worth of books. And let's see how many I got. I wanted to save all the opening for the video as well. So I am so excited. Let's go ahead and get started with a little bit of a book haul. I just love buying books, but I have really been restraining myself because this down here, that is all of my physical TBR. And I have been trying to read it over the past couple of months and I've been doing really well. Maybe not now that I bought 11 more books, but some of them, well, you'll see, I won't spoil anything. Maybe let's just get started. We can start right on top with the brown one. Let's see what, what we have to open here. Oh Lord. Okay, that was really satisfying. The first book, they really shoved it in here. Ooh, okay, One Dark Window. I have been wanting to read this so bad. Basically, this is a fantasy book. Look at the beautiful cover on this guy. I just absolutely love it. This is a world where the magic system runs on these like tarot cards, I'm pretty sure. Uh, this girl has an illness. She hears a voice in her head, and so she's trying to get rid of it, but she has to find all of these tarot cards. And if you have that card, you basically have that power. That's pretty much all I know going into this. There's a little smidgen of romance, and I just heard it's just a wonderful duology so i really wanted to get started with it and i bought the first one that was half off maybe should we go for a box next i feel like that'd be nice okay we're gonna go for this box i'm like trying not to show my address obviously and let's i got scissors in preparation for this did anybody else's parents ever teach them how, like how to open a box and it was like you're supposed to always cut away from yourself never supposed to cut towards yourself because you could like stab yourself okay we have opened let's see what this guy has in store for us <gasps> Ooh, already on top do you see what i see <laughs> i'm so excited okay um just a little bit bent but that's okay we have just for the summer by abby jimenez i love my girl abby jimenez i actually just read my first book by her which was yours truly technically i know that it was the second book in this interconnected standalone i didn't know that going in um so i have not yet read part of your world but i might just hop into this guy or i'll read part of your world first who knows this is gonna be such a fun cute romance summer book and obviously i've heard that it is a little bit emotionally uh tragic during it and a lot of people have been crying and she literally posted a video of the author saying that you go in thinking this is going to be a fun fluffy romance but um actually it's like kind of tragic not tragic but just like sad um so i'm interested to see it's a little bit i feel like thicker than yours truly like, it's a little bit longer than the other one um my roommate has my copy of yours truly or i would show you yes okay so this is the book where the guy and the girl are both cursed quote unquote because any person they date then goes on to meet their soulmate right afterwards so they think they make meet up on reddit and they read each other's stories and they really relate so they say well if we date and do all the things that people dating do and then we break up maybe then we'll go on to meet our soulmates afterwards so they um, make a plan i'm guessing just for the summer to date and break up so then go and meet their soulmates and that's about all i know about this guy also that it's gonna make me cry so <laughs> we will keep it at that book number two you might notice a small theme that i don't know a lot of the plots of these books and that's on purpose i do like to go into books pretty blind just because it's more fun and you never know what you're gonna get and how you're gonna feel and i don't want other people's opinions coming in on mine and influencing mine because that will happen and i've learned that from experience so now through my experience i make sure that i don't have any preconceived notions going into books it doesn't always work but sometimes it does oh 
this book is thick. I did not realize how thick this book is. We have The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. I am really excited for this. One of my roommates in college read this book. She said it was wonderful. And I was like, okay, noted. But then I saw a lot of other people start reading this book and they just all had wonderful things to say. I love reading about, how do I word this? Um, like world war, world, okay obviously i worked at 7 a.m to 3 p.m today um i love reading about world war ii just kind of everything that happened in there and different people's perspectives like i love reading about it i think it's so interesting and it's so heartbreaking and every story is just so different but they all have the same like true meaning to it um i've also heard that this book makes you cry so um we'll see how that goes apparently i really want to make myself sob this summer but this has been on my want to read list for a really long time and again i only bought books that were fully 50 percent off so this was one of the fully 50 percent off books and um i snagged her while i could so i again this is another book i really want to go into blind i believe this is about a girl and her sister who have very different political views about what is going on in germany and yeah so then they have different opinions they live different lifestyles and kind of go through this somewhat together again 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 i want to go in so blind because i just think this would be a beautiful book to read not really knowing what you're getting into so i'm really looking forward to this book and just like not knowing has me on the edge of my seat look at how baby this is powerful by lauren roberts it is literally so baby like hang on well okay it's not that small compared to these books i guess but it is small compared to like the actual powerful or the powerless book i actually have the indie copy version i don't have the re-release like that was out at barnes and noble because i don't want to rebuy it i bought i followed her on tiktok for a really long time and then i didn't want to rebuy the same book that i already had just because it came out in hardback so my copies won't really match whenever they all come out this is the novella after powerless it's just a baby little novella as you can tell she's super tiny and cute and i'm intrigued to see what this has in store i honestly don't remember a lot about powerless because i read it last january like 2023 january and now it's may of 2024 so i need to reread powerless so that i can remember although i do remember what happens to specific characters in this book so that i'm not looking forward to as much but this should be really interesting and i think that it would just be like a nice little read especially if i just need something really quick and to get me out of slump which loki i am in right now this book like i said is the novella for powerless this follows adina who is a side character in the powerless first book and we kind of see what happens to her in that first book and this is kind of telling her story while Peyton is away in the trials she gets to tell her story in this book and there's like love and loss and like so many themes in here from what I've heard I've heard it short sweet but it's a, one of the best novellas that people have ever read so I'm looking forward to it last book in this box let's just toss that to the ground king of sloth this is by anna wong i hope i said that right i'm so sorry if i didn't i'm not good at pronouncing anything let alone people's names that should be respected um <laughs> this is book number four king of sloth and her kings of sin series to not ugh, it's not great of me but the third book i did end up dnfing not really on purpose but kind of on purpose i just i i don't think i ever finished it and i just didn't really like love it it was fine um it was fine but i really do want to finish this series and i do love her writing i just think that book might not have been for me and that's okay i really enjoyed the first book has been my favorite in this series so far which i never say but the first book in the series has just been my absolute favorite i'm intrigued to see what i think about this guy and this book is about xavier and sloan honestly i don't really know what um oh yes he is like a billionaire obviously and she is his publicist and she is trying to help him oh because he's like acting out and lashing out and doing all these things that he shouldn't be doing partying spending money i'm sure and she obviously as his publicist wants him to have a good name and to have a good rap and is it rap or rep to have a good rep <laughs> 
and so she's trying to help him through that and he won't listen to her and then somewhere along the way they fall in love i'm sure by the end i love sloan she's my girl i just i feel like i identify a lot with sloan so i think i might really enjoy this again this is kind of a thicker book her other ones are just not this thick oh my gosh it's over 430 page 438 pages guys apparently i want to make myself cry and want to make myself read a lot this summer <laughs> heavy books i say let's see what's in this package i love these too, just like okay <laughs> let's see you guys want to look i want to look what's in it <gasps> oh okay this was a last minute addition to my cart i decided to get the seven year slip i wanted to get like an even a hundred dollars worth of stuff i don't know why that just is how my brain works i just wanted it to be even okay and so i decided to put in the seven year slip and i have just heard so many great things about this i've never read anything by this author it is by ashley poston is how i've heard people pronounce it um i hope that is correct again but basically this girl has an apartment and it slips into the past so um but not all the time only like sometimes whenever she comes home the apartment will like be seven years in the past and there is a guy who is there whenever it's seven years in the past she's like grieving her aunt i'm pretty sure and there's just a lot of themes of grief and like love and um healing in this book from what i've heard and it makes people sob and it also makes people laugh and i just really would love this to read this book a lot of people that i watch have given it five stars so of course i had to add it to the list Boop. i'm gonna do this package and then i'm gonna do the last big box because the last big box um it's kind of fun and i think you guys will like will especially like the last box Arr. oh that was so satisfying i wish i could have shown you so let's just yeah i knew i knew from that you would know what it is so this is beach read by emily henry this is going to complete my emily henry collection besides funny story which i'm waiting to come out in paperback because it's going to match the rest of my collection i literally waited almost a year for happy place to come out in paperback so that it would match my collection and that is my favorite emily henry book literally ever off on a tangent i haven't read beach read yet however i'm going to the beach this week so what better book to read on the beach than beach read itself so of course you know that i will be bringing my emily henry collection to the beach with me this week so she's kind of in a writing slump so he agrees to trade genres with her she writes like rom-coms he writes great american novels so he they end up trading so that they can kind of get out of this writer's block that they're facing and obviously something ensues because she starts taking him on little rom-com inspired dates to kind of get him inspired to write and you know how could you not fall in love whenever somebody does that for you that's so cute and i'm really excited to read this and just to see what it is all about um the cover is just so adorable to me and i'm excited to complete my emily henry collection besides her first like three books but you know all the like classic the iconic emily henry books this is my last one of hers and the spine look i just love how cute like all of her books are she just has such cute little spines on all of her books anyways this last package we're gonna you're gonna love let me just don't cut the books don't cut the books <laughs> okay so i have been waiting on this for literally forever i have been waiting for a perfect time to finish my throne of glass collection oddly enough i have the last four books in the series well I have air of fire in the last three books in the series because i read the last three books physically because i have the kindle e-reader like bind up of them and i just thought it would be too difficult to try and read the tandem on there so i bought them physically i didn't even end up doing the tandem i just read them physically i don't even know why i did that but and then i found air of fire on sale at books a million so obviously i bought it so i just needed the first four books i've just kind of been waiting on a good book sale that would like give me an excuse to buy four books that i've already read but obviously i need to complete my collection up here like she's sad she's not completed so first of course i have the assassin's blade by sarah j maas i just went on a 
rant as if you guys knew what I was talking about, but I assume that you know what I'm talking about. I'll give you a rundown in a minute. Let's see if this holds up. Okay. And then I have the technical first book in the series, Throne of Glass. We can go on this tangent another time, but read Assassin's Blade first, then read Throne of Glass. That I will die on that hill. I will die on it because I didn't do it, and I was so mad that I didn't do that because I didn't know. I didn't know any better. And then, of course, we have Crown of Midnight. I put my laundry back here to hide it from you guys, and it just caught all of the books. Okay, last but not least, and honestly the thickest, oh my gosh, I did not realize how thick this book is because I read it on my Kindle, Queen of Shadows. This is technically the fifth book in the series. Fourth book in the series, fifth if you include the prequel. Queen of Shadows. Eee. Okay, there we go. And now my Throne of Glass collection is fully complete and I'm so happy about it. This is not all of them, obviously. But the Throne of Glass series is basically about this assassin. Her name is Selena Sardothian. She is iconic for being like the best assassin in the kingdom. And she's like 16 at the start of these books, which is absolutely wild to me. Like what she goes through as like a 15, 16 to... I think she ends the book being like 17, 18. And these books are just so crazy to me and so like beautiful and heartbreaking. I haven't even given you a synopsis and I'm already going off about how much I love these books. But she basically has to compete in these trials and fight to survive. Even though she doesn't really want what is being offered to her for her survival, she just wants to survive. So she is going through the motions of this trial and it is just beautiful and heartbreaking and I've already said it but read it read Assassin's Blade first this is a series of prequels um like little novellas oh my gosh and you won't understand them and you might think that they're boring and I get it I truly I get it because I went through it I listened to the audiobook of it if it helps do it get through it get to Throne of Glass get through the first three books and get to Queen of Shadows. This is my favorite book in the entire series and it's upside down, but it's my favorite book in the entire series. Era Fire is a close, probably second. Um, I also loved Kingdom of Ash, which is the last book. Of course, I loved that book. I just like can't rant and rave enough about these characters. I think about them at, at least every few days, if not every day, like they pop into my mind. I hear Taylor Swift songs, I hear music and content and audio and I just think about these characters and what they went through and how strong and how brave they were and it just encourages me in my own life. The Throne of Glass series will just forever hold such a special place in my heart and that's all my ranting that I'm gonna do before I drop these books. Did you see that? That was kind of a good catch. We have One Dark Window by Rachel Gillig. I don't think I said that. Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez. The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. Powerful by Lauren Roberts. King of Sloth by Anna Wong. The Seven Year Slip by Ashley Poston. Beach Read by Emily Henry. Oh, I don't know if I can hold all these books with one hand. And then the Throne of Glass series, the first three plus the fifth book in the series, if you're including the the, the prequel. I, ha I bought 11 books for $100. Give it up, Critter. He's putting his paw under the door. He wants in so bad. But thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and enjoyed watching me unbox all of these books. I need to put these down because they're so heavy. But I just had so much fun book shopping and I influenced literally all of my friends to book shop too. So everybody spent money because of me. I'm so sorry if you did. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you the next time. Bye.